Good morning children. I hope you all are in good health. Today in our maths class we are going to start with a new chapter. Chapter 4, Trick Tick Tick. And the topic we are going to cover is clock, days and months. So the learning objective of today's class is you will be able to know the parts of a clock and relation between month, days, hours. And at the end of the class, you will be able to recognize our hand and minute hand of a clock and understand and remember the relation between days, months and hours. So before I start with the class, I want you all to think of an answer. Why do you need to know how to read time? How it is helpful to you to you all to learn to read and write time so the answer can be that you should know to read time so that you know when to get up when to eat your breakfast when to have your lunch when to do your homework when to go for playing when to sleep then are, there are many more things. If you know how to see time, you know that it, at this time you can do a certain uh, activity or think, thing. So let's see what are the different types of clocks. This you have already done in your previous classes. Just a small revision of it. On your screen, if you see, there are two types of clocks. Clock. The first one is the analog clock. Okay, and the second one is known as the digital clock. Okay, this on your screen, you will see a dial of an analog clock. So in this analog clock, you will see that there are numbers from 1 to 12. Okay, and what else do you see? You see a shorthand. Do you know what is the shorthand known as? It is known, it is the R hand and it tells you about the R wherever it is pointing that much hours and it also has a long hand and this long hand tells you about the minutes so it is known as minute hand so wherever it is pointing that much minutes it shows okay the R hand also shows the R that have passed and minute hand shows the minute that have passed. Now you know the direction, the direction in which the clock hand moves. They move in a particular direction, isn't it? So if it is moving in, if anything is moving in the direction of the clock hand, then it is known as clockwise direction. And if the direction is opposite to the direction of motion of the clock hand, it is known as anti-clockwise direction. There are certain things which you have to remember. Okay, You know that in an hour, how many minutes are there? In one hour, there are 60 minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. All this you have to remember. Uh, in a day, how many hours are there? There are 24 hours in a day. And in a week, how many days make a week? 7 days make a week, isn't it? And how many days are there in a month? You know, some months have 30 days and some months have 31 days. And what makes how many months make a year? 12 months make a year. And how many weeks are there in a in a year? There are 52 weeks and in in a year usually we have 365 days but there is a year which is known as leap year in leap year how many days do we have we have 366 days in a leap year okay now you know children that in different months we have different number of days so there is a small trick to remember the number of days in a month so what you are going to do is you are going to fold your fingers as shown in the uh, on the picture on the screen and the knuckle part of your 
uh, folded finger this part will whichever month comes on the knuckle will have 31 days and whichever comes on the space will have 30 days and you already know February either have 21 28 days or 29 days so we start from the first month that is January it comes on the knuckle so this one has 31 February has 28 days March 31 April 30 May 31 June 30 July 31 okay then what we do is we uh, we have more months so we keep on counting we had reached till july okay so july has 31 now when you start with again august you will st again start with the knuckle so august will have 31 september 30 october 31 november 30 and december will have 31 days so this is how you can remember the number of days in a month so i want you all to complete this uh, worksheet uh, the, uh, which is given which i have also given in the worksheet uh, along with the link with today's class so you can find the number of days and try to complete this worksheet uh, okay so we come to the end of the class i want you all to do a small activity here i have given you an example um, this is an activity about your birthday month you have to write and decorate the name of your birth month uh, i have given you an idea uh, written uh, the month january okay so whichever is your birth month that that month's name you are going to decorate as you want to make it colorful and attractive and write it in your activity notebook and then fill the detail that uh, first is your date of birth you are going to write and then you are going to write the number of days in your birth months like for example i've given you the example of january january has 31 days so i'm going to write here 31 days Okay. so it depends which month is your birth month accordingly you are going to write here the date of your birth and here you are going to write the number of days comes in the month okay i hope everything is clear to you children uh, stay healthy and stay safe thank you